Hi guys, it's uh, Life here from uh, iTech Office Technology. Today I just uh, want to do a uh, refresher on how to print uh, envelopes on the new Konica and Alta BSub uh, series. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, the 4E series, so that's the C224 all the way up to the C754E uh, color and black and white. They're all the same now. So. I'm just going to jump straight into this. We've got, uh, I've already prepared a envelope, so this is a standard DL envelope. I've designed it with everything that I want to print on it. And I'm just going to go into File and Print. So I'll go to File Print. I'm going to go into Printer Properties. after selecting my printer of course in the list and you can see on here that uh, I'm just going to go straight back to uh, default first so I start with the uh, default settings uh, the first thing we need to do uh, and I'll go through the different tabs here on the jump into the basic tab I'm going to select here I'm going to select A4 or envelope DL I mean as the original size and I'm going to make sure that the uh, paper size is matching that so I've got envelope DL in both of those uh, I'm going to select paper tray is going to be bypass tray because I'm going to select uh, to put my envelopes into the bypass tray and you notice there it says Stick to in the paper type, which is just what it uh, was last time I used the bypass tray. So I'm going to click on this paper settings for each tray. I'm going to select the paper type to be envelope and just select envelope there. Just notice uh, that I've got it highlighted and on the bypass tray and the type is envelope. It also gives me a warning on here now when I change it to envelope that it's going to force it, the print type to be one-sided because you can't print two-sided or back-to-back -back on an envelope. So I'm going to select OK on that. Now you can see it's re reflected that change on my main screen here. It says bypass tray and envelope. And that's all I need to set now. So I'm going to so just recap that, I set the original size and the paper size to be envelope DL selected the bypass tray as the paper tray and I clicked on paper settings for each tray and made sure the paper type is set to envelope then I'll hit OK and OK to print and so now my print job has been sent, we're just now going to go to the uh, printer and I'll show you the last stage of the printing uh, uh, the envelope job. Okay, so now uh, we're at the printer. So we've sent the envelope printing job to the printer. The printer is now beeping and it's on the display here. It now says please insert paper, tri paper in bypass tray or select paper tray. So, of course, now we're going to put the envelope in the uh, bypass tray and I've got the special DL envelope with the flap on the short edge which is the recommended paper. You could also use the traditional one with the, with the flap on the long edge but it's not going to give you as good a result in it and it may crinkle a little bit. So, now I'm going to put the paper in the tray and push that in there. And you can see now when I put the, put the envelopes in the paper tray, there's a button here called complete and that was grayed out before but that will light up as soon as you put the paper in. So I'm just going to select complete just to let the printer know that the envelope uh, paper is ready to go. It's now feeding in the envelope, the envelope and we should have that over here. And there we go. There's the uh, envelope printed, and uh, that's it. This works on the whole new range of Konica and Alta uh, machines. This is the C754E, but it goes for the whole black and white and color range. Good luck.